What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So we've talked in the past about manually creating models of existing spaces using floor plans, but in this video, I'm gonna show you a really fast way to use your phone in order to create 3D models of spaces. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so first off, this method is only going to work with the iPhones and iPads that have a LiDAR scanner built in. Okay, and so my understanding is that's gonna be the iPhone 12 Pro and above, so you do need the Pro version of the iPhone. I think the Apple iPad Pro um, is going to have that as well. So if your phone has that and you've upgraded to iOS 16, then you can use the Polycam app in order to quickly scan spaces and bring them directly into Blender. And the best thing is it's free. Okay, and so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up the Polycam app on your phone. Sorry for the mess in my living room, but I thought this was a good space to demonstrate. And so what you want to do is at the bottom of the page, there's an option for room mode. You want to make sure you click on the room mode and then you want to click on the record button. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to move your iPhone around to look at the top and bottom of the wall. But then notice how you can walk around the space and it starts automatically picking up the walls as well as the furniture in your space. So you can see how as I walk around this space, it's showing me exactly where everything has been included in here. So I can see door openings, I can see window openings, and it's also automatically picking up furniture. And so when it does that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate this 3D model that I can then bring directly into Blender. And so once you're done with this space, you can hit the end recording button. And so this is gonna take you into a 3D view of the model that was just created. And as you can see, it's got little placeholder geometry in here for your furniture. And obviously this is not what my furniture actually looks like, but it did recognize the size of my furniture and put it in here in a fairly accurate way. One cool thing about this app is you can click on the ruler button down below and you can click between different points and measure inside the space. So I use this a lot for home projects now. You can also click on the floor plan button and it'll take you to a top down floor plan view of your model. And so that'll show your floor plan view with actual dimensions in your space. So if you're looking for a floor plan, Polycam will create that. And there's really three different ways that you can look at. Look at this. First off, you can click on the button down below and you can click on the button to process LiDAR. What that's going to do is that's going to go through and it's going to process all of the images that the iPhone scanner takes into a single 3D model. And that 3D model is then going to have textures on top of it like this. Now, I will note that this particular model um, comes in kind of lumpy for lack of a better word. So it's not necessarily great for importing the mesh, though I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And so you can toggle between the different export types by clicking on the process button. And notice how there's options to toggle the furniture on and off, the LiDAR on and off. So you really have three options, a model with furniture, without furniture, or with the LiDAR. And depending on what you have selected, when you click the export button, that's what's going to be exported to your 3D model. Now with the paid version, there are a number of different export types. You can just use the free version and export the GLTF models directly. Um, usually I export them and email them to myself, but then you can bring them directly into Blender. And so remember with the free version, that GLTF export is free and Blender can bring those in. So you don't need the paid version. So the paid version is gonna have more file export versions as well as the building plan tool that I showed you. That's a paid feature rather than a free feature. But if we jump into Blender real quick, if I do a file import and we take a look at the models that are created, we're gonna to wanna to import the GLTF. And so I'll import both the room with the furniture as well as the LiDAR data. So the room with the furniture, if you bring it in, notice how that's gonna come in properly scaled like this. All you might have to do is just move it up a little bit like this, but this actually brings in your complete room with the furniture. And then you could take all that furniture and you could put it in a collection or something like that. So you could toggle it on and off if you wanted to. Obviously I don't have a big sectional sofa that runs across like this, but notice how it puts that placeholder geometry in. So some things aren't perfect with the furniture that's in here, but it can be really good at giving you kind of an idea of what's in those spaces. So this is an accurate 3D model of the space. I don't know what the tolerances are. I haven't tested it with a tape measure or anything. Um, it's gotten everything that I've ever needed really close, but I'm not sure exactly how close that space is going to be. So you can either import this in and just use it as a mesh, right? So if I tab in here, 
right? It's it's a little uh, it's a little bit clunky, so you might have to remesh some things depending on what you're trying to do. But overall, it gives you a pretty good mesh. But then you can also do a file import, and if you wanted to, you could bring in the actual lidar data. So if I bring that in, that is going to look like this. So if I look at this, it brings in this lidar scan right here. And again, you can see why I don't necessarily use this for a lot of things because it is um, lumpy is the best word that I've been able to use to describe this. So it's not ideal, but if you wanted to bring something in and like measure from it or something like that, you could definitely do that. Um, so that definitely creates a space that you can use. If you wanted to get rid of the ceilings, um, you could just come in here and you could go to wireframe mode and just go into vertex editing mode just by tapping one. So I'm gonna go to edit mode, tap one, and then you can come in here and you can just delete out the geometry at the top of the wall like this because it's triangulated in here and it's got so many points. Um, it's still going to show up as just a fine wall in here. So if that ceiling gets in your way, you can delete that out. But see how this gives you two options for really quickly creating existing spaces inside of Blender. All right, so leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. As soon as I saw this room mode, it really kind of blew my mind with how easy it is to bring existing spaces in. But I'd love to hear from you what you think about this tool. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.